Good evening, and welcome to the 25th anniversary of the Giffords Law Center to Prevent Gun Violence. Every dinner is special because it brings us together and reminds us of all why we're doing this. 25 years ago, the Bay Area legal community came together in the wake of a tragedy. Combining expert knowledge of law and policy with passion and determination. 25 years later, I am amazed. I am blown away and so proud of what the Law Center is doing. I would have never, frankly, imagined it in my wildest dreams. The Law Center brings thoughtful, well-informed steps to address gun violence whether it's through legislation, through training, through technological developments. It's steps that we could all sit down and agree on to reduce gun deaths in America. I don't think we've ever had the amount of momentum behind us. The, the winds are at our back and people understand that this is a moment that we can all come together and really pursue a path that will make a real difference in people's lives. It means the world to us to know that all of you are in this fight with us. Thank you. Not only have we expanded the work that we do geographically, but we've expanded our work to assault this crisis from all angles. Those efforts include affirmative litigation that we're now doing through the Firearms Accountability Council Task Force, and it's advocacy that we're doing through the Urban Gun Violence Initiative. I think this new generation of activists um, and this come out in recent months is really exciting. Uh, I think it's exciting because it's not just one school and one group, it's nationwide at this point. It's different economic strata at this point. It's, it's people who are affected differently because they're affected at school or people just affected in their community. Good evening, my name is Kayla. I'm an uprising senior at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. On February 14th, it was my 17th birthday. It was also the day that my second home turned into a war zone. The day should have been filled with love and celebration, but instead it was filled with grief and heartbreak. Although the news and the cameras have faded away, we will not and our voices will not. I know that all of you here tonight are working hard, making better laws to help kids like me. I'm really grateful for that. I just ask that you remember the kids of Chicago as you do your work. Remember that we don't always get the attention but we're living the awful consequences when our nation fails to keep kids like me safe. We have to grow up uh, about over guns and ironically and wonderfully, it's high school students who have been acting like the grownups recently and telling all of us that we have to grow up and own up to our responsibilities. Now we know the statistics. Gun violence is the leading cause of death for young black men, outstripping the next nine causes of death combined. But gun violence touches everyone now because 33,000 people die from guns each year. That is 90 people every single day. And that's especially devastating because gun violence is preventable. It is not a pre-existing condition. Unless you think we are just fatalistically incapable of standing up for the majority of people in this country, including gun owners who argue for common sense gun measures. It's time to stand up for what's right. It's time for courage. We must do something. We must stop gun violence. Yeah.